Are we setting ourselves up for potentially an August swoon as we see futures in the red? I mean, we could be, Frank, but look, I'd say over the last couple of years, the market really hasn't performed in the way that it typically or historically has. So I don't think we can just automatically say we're going to see that same seasonality come through. The consumer and the job market have been such a strong foundation for the economy, even in the face of, of signs that tell you we shouldn't be as strong as we are. So I wouldn't say necessarily rely on the fact that August is traditionally a week. I think we need to wait and see what some of this data has coming through. And if we see central banks really start to pull back like we did the Reserve Bank of Australia, this morning, that could be another boost for the equity markets. All right, so we see a lot of bullish sentiment out there. I think you're taking a bit of a different take on the markets. With that in mind, what's your WEX word of the day? Yes, yeah, so my word of the day is resistant. And I think it shows that the equity markets have really resisted some of these signs that we've seen out there that tell us we probably should be in some type of a mild recession in, at this point. Obviously, we have the yield curve. And even if we put that aside, look at the rest of the leading economic indicators down 15 months in a row. The M2 money growth, the, the signs that that's down, I know from a higher level, but still the level that we have seen LEIs, that we've seen money growth come down, we have never seen historically without going into a recession. You have a consumer that even though it's still strong, looks like it could be weakening. And I'm concerned about margins with companies. A lot of people are saying this is a, a, the bottom of the earnings okay. and we're going to go higher from here. I think we have to be concerned about margins. But all of that, the equity market still moves higher. So it is resisting a lot of the negative pulls we see. Yeah, there's definitely signs the consumer is weakening. But I do want to say one thing. You're saying that we're seeing signs of recession. Um, one thing that's contrary to that is just low unemployment. Unemployment's remain low. We continue to see a tight labor market. We're even seeing wage growth. How do you see that long term impacting the strength of the consumer and also the markets and uh, companies earnings as wages move higher? It's really a double-edged sword, Frank, because you obviously want the consumer to be strong. You want them to be out there spending. You want a labor market that's supportive. But at the same time, that is telling the Federal Reserve that perhaps the things that they're doing, moving up to a five and a quarter on the Fed funds rate, that that has not been enough. So does the strength that is holding up the economy right now actually lead to the Fed moving rates higher and pushing us closer and closer to the edge of that cliff. That's one of the concerns that we have. And look, we say it takes Fed uh, rate hikes about 12 months to work its way through the economy, which means we've really only felt the effects of what, the first two or three hikes. There's quite a bit more that we need to feel. So I think that's part of the reason why we're a little bit cautious and we see it more as a, a risky bull market than just a full on okay. um, up and to the right for the rest of the year. All right, so you're also looking at some tech plays outside of the Magnificent Seven. I think some people would still consider them AI plays, um, two of them, Adobe and Oracle. What do you like about these stocks right now? Yeah, you're right. We, we're trying to look for plays in the tech space um, that have relations to AI. Adobe and Oracle, you mentioned, obviously, the cloud space with Oracle, Adobe bringing AI um, into their software where you can use voice commands in order to start creating things. It's going to be very helpful. You can see it in other names, too. You look at, like, a LAM research. That's the same thing, feeding into that AI. These are uh, names that we have been buying because of the valuations and the quality quality of their earnings. And that's key. You can still have tech exposure, but maybe not pay the high multiples and the high valuations of some of those tech names.